Lord, you have the words of everlasting love. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decrees of the Lord are just, all of them right. Lord, you have the words of everlasting life. Welcome to your cathedral. I'm Father Greg Sackowitz. Special thank you to Mark Teresi, David Jonas, again, wonderful, phenomenal music, the voice of Mark, or Mark, should I say, Teresi, and a beautiful plane of David Jonas. So David and Mark, thank you. Special thanks to our producer, Father Mark Smolka, who has done week in and week out a tremendous job as videographer, choreographer, everything, puts it all together, sends me the package, he's shaking his head. He never looks for thanks, but Father Mark, Jen Kuya, thank you very much. And I see now also two uh, Father Mark's left is Paula, who I think is learning the whole process too down the road. So Paula, welcome to the production today. Two old priests are running through the woods. No, take it back. An old priest and a young priest are running through the woods <laughs> being chased by a bear. And the old priest says to the young priest, all we have to do is outrun this bear. The young priest says, all I have to do is outrun you. <laughs> I really, not only is Mark laughing, but so is Paula. I like that joke. Here we are, the 26th Sunday in Ordinary Time. How quickly September is coming to a close and October is just about upon us. If you know it or not, and I'm sure you all do, life is full of surprises, many surprises. Life is full of the unexpected. Many of us want to be able to control life, be able to control our relationships, control our future. We may even program or timetable relationships and friendships, but why control? It becomes a way of coping with personal insecurity. And if we know it or not, or like it or not, to some degree, all of us are insecure. And that's part of life, which we will trust God and go to God. However, with life full of surprises and securities, that's just a part of what the way life is. Great line from a John Lennon song, life is what happened while I was making other plans. And even if we take the word life, L-I-F-E, -I, I can spell a little bit, even take the word life, L-I-F-E, smack in the, in the middle of the word life is the word if, that we're not in control, but we think we are. And sometimes we are owned by fear become our own worst enemy. As much as we try to secure ourselves in familiar patterns and routines, the movements of life don't always let us rest. Suddenly, our marriage partner dies. A job is lost. Our retirement is forced upon us. The house burns down. A divorce ends long years of marriage. Unexpected cancer. Unexpected sickness hitting a child. One spouse starts drinking too much. The life's savings run out. COVID-19, all the unexpected and the list goes on and on and on. When today falls apart, it's very hard to be optimistic about tomorrow. I'll say it again. When today falls apart, it's very hard to be optimistic about tomorrow. Life is full of daily surprises. We sometimes think that prayer or mass will take all the surprises away. Surprises are just as much a part of life as the leaves on a tree. Yet surprise and surprises may frustrate us. A surprise may mean we're no longer in control. Two examples dealing with surprise. True story, one extreme. I've always enjoyed dishing out surprises or pranks when I was younger. Okay, I have to admit I've done a few in my life. For example, when I was 12 years old and my brother was seven years old, Adrian, 
I waited for my brother, Adrian, hidden inside his bedroom closet. What I did not know was he had just finished building a beautiful World War II airplane model. As he opened the closet door, carrying his masterpiece, I greeted him with a gorilla mask and a giant yell. I was totally surprised as his beautiful, brand new model World War II airplane went full speed into the wall and destroyed. I have to admit, I got in trouble for that one. The other extreme, the total surprise or shock when a loved one dies and we realize that our life will never be the same. We sometimes shy away from surprises because of unknown fears. Now speaking of fear, there's a woman who one day suddenly realized her fears were ruining her peace of mind. So she took a pen, made a summary of all her worries, estimating as well as she could their nature and origin. These were her interesting conclusions. She came to realize 40% of her worries and fears will never happen. 40% of her worries and fears were about old decisions that could not be changed anyway. 12% others' criticisms of her, most of them untrue, and 8% of her fears legitimate, since her life had some real problems to meet. Adding up, 92% of her worries were unproductive. I wonder what our balance sheet would look like in your life or in mine. Today's three readings are full of surprises and the unexpected. The essence of surprise means no lifetime guarantees. Let me explain. I can remember a few things that I've bought which were guaranteed to last or function properly for beyond the first year or two. Inevitably, everything seems to break, wear out, or need some periodic overhauling or change of parts. Nothing seems to last forever without some repair or maintenance. If the products we buy have a limited life expectancy, what about our relationship with God, with others? So many people go through life shocked when their marriage weakens or breaks down, when their relationship with their children or parents falls apart, when they're no longer able to love or feel loved by others. Many good people I know even find times in their lives when they no longer feel close to God or feel as God loves them. Whatever it is, we all seem to reach points in our lives when everything breaks, when something is not the way it once was or is supposed to be. Perhaps if there's one thing we should be told over and over again when we are very young and have it repeated again and again, is that everything in life, and that includes our relationship with God and others, will break and will not last without some repair and constant maintenance. And this is something we sometimes just take that for granted. Relationships are fragile. Relationships are fragile. Handle it with prayer. Relationships can easily break. Sometimes we feel the pieces of the relationship cannot be put back together again. The gift of yourself to another person is risky. I'm not talking about a superficial level, but the level of real caring, intimacy, and loving. It takes work and time. When we die, when the last chapter of our book has been written, what will have given this life meaning is not our title or position or how much money we made, but rather our quality of friendships with others and the Lord. Nothing comes with a lifetime guarantee except eternal life. This is why we have such words as fix, repair, overhaul, forgiveness, reconciliation, healing, preventive maintenance. Whether well, one is talking about a car, an air conditioner, a furnace, one's health, one's marriage, one's friendships, nothing takes care of itself automatically. Everything in one's life is in constant need of attention and care through time, and it takes time. In our times of doubt, the Lord says, I'm with you, and I'll strengthen you. 
in our times and moments of frustration and anxiety, the Lord says, I'm with you and I will calm you. In those surprise moments, the Lord says, life is a mystery to be lived and not a problem to be solved. Life is a mystery to be lived and not a problem to be solved. And remember, happiness is like a butterfly. The more you chase it, the more it will elude you. But if you turn your attention to other things, it comes and softly sits on your shoulder. May God bless all of you. Thank you for joining today. Go Bears, hope they show up against Cleveland on Sunday. Go White Sox, who have now clinched a division title, but the work has begun against Houston. God bless all of you. I want to walk as a child of the light. I want to follow Jesus. God set the stars to give light to the world. The star of my life is Jesus. In him there is no darkness at all. The night and the day are both alike. The Lamb is the light of the